Well, bless the Lord, brothers and sisters, back yet again with another message. I thank God again for this great and awesome opportunity to share with you. I just want to share a little story with you, brothers and sisters. And of course, this is not a real story. So don't you go looking online trying to find these characters. It's a made up story. But I want to talk today specifically about vanity, self-love, narcissism, self-worship, things of that nature. And I want to talk about a story, a made up story, but I want to talk about characters where one was basically serving the Lord and another brother decided to serve himself. He wanted worship. He wanted to be loved. And he was looking for it in a form of bodybuilding. Now, brothers and sisters, they were pretty close growing up. But there was one thing about another brother that had a little bit of jealousy about his other brother. His other brother was into the Lord. He liked going to church. He liked studying and learning and being connected with things of God. And all along, inside, he was a seed of anger. It was a seed of bitterness, bitterness and resentment and all of that stuff towards his brother. And he grew up basically hating his brother. Kind of like a Cain and Abel kind of situation, but he didn't kill him. But he was basically slowly killing himself. He was killing himself with bitterness. He was killing himself with pride. He was killing himself with self-glorification and his demise, demise, demise. It was a sad demise, brothers and sisters, but I don't want to blow it yet. Let's, let's, let's just check out the story. Well, again, he was, uh, you know, going to church with mom. And of course, the other brother didn't want to go. And it got to a point where this other brother was trying to find himself. He was trying to find his way. And he noticed that he had strength. He noticed that he could pick up weight and he had a fascination with bodybuilding. So as an adult, of course, each and every day of the week, he would work out and post funny pictures of his brother and make fun of him. And all along, his brother forgave him. You see, his brother was a man of God, brothers and sisters. He was a minister. Actually, he was a pastor. And what he did was try to win his brother to the Lord, and his brother wasn't having it. He tried many times to go over his house and minister to him. He tried even meeting him at the gym one day. But all he would do was make fun of his brother. He would tease him just because he wasn't looking the same. He didn't quite pick up weight like he did. So he always posted something online to make fun of his brother, to make himself feel and look better. It was comical things. He got a kick out of it. He laughed with his big bodybuilder friends. And all along, inside, I believe deep down inside, there was a seed of loneliness. There was a seed of anger. There was a seed of resentment, a seed of incomplete, fragmented that he had to walk around with each and every day of his life. Brothers and sisters, he had a spiritual torment that he didn't want to break free of. He had a pride, brothers and sisters, that literally was consuming his life. It turned into panic attacks. It turned into anxiety. It even turned into overindulging with his buddies. You see, brothers and sisters, all he wanted to do was feed his flesh. All he wanted to do was look for acceptance. All he wanted to do is week after week after week feed his flesh. But brothers and sisters, there was a price. There was a price to pay, brothers and sisters, for that addiction. You see, brothers and sisters, it wasn't necessarily a drug addiction. It was more so an addiction with bodybuilding. He went to the extreme, brothers and sisters. Why? Because he always wanted his brother to feel that he was the better brother. He always felt that his Christianity was something that he couldn't master. But bodybuilding, oh yeah, bodybuilding was something that he knew oh so well. To the point where inside his house, he built mirrors everywhere so that on Instagram he could post pictures upon pictures of how good he looked and how frail his brother was. But you see, brothers and sisters, his brother knew the Lord. His brother tried to reach out and told him to repent. It got to a point, brothers and sisters, where his brother was noticing that his brother was getting to a point of depression that he even invited him over his house. And you know what the body brother brother did? He basically tried to hit on his wife. 
And that didn't work, brothers and sisters, because his wife didn't fall for it. Brothers and sisters, this was a man that was deep into sin. This is a man, brothers and sisters. This is a brother who didn't realize that he was digging his own ditch year after year after year. See, he didn't want to change. He was hard-headed. He was narcissistic. He was prideful. He had the spirit of anger and resentment. And all of these spirits, all of these spirits was having him bound. He didn't want to repent. He didn't want to listen. So one day he did it a little bit too far. He had a massive heart attack, brothers and sisters, a massive heart attack. And unfortunately, brothers and sisters, all of that working out, all of that showmanship, all of that hypocrisy came to an end. His life took a turn for the worse. Brothers and sisters, this massive heart attack consumed this brother's life. Brothers and sisters, he was only 37 years old, and yet he had a date with destiny. Brothers and sisters, of course, his brother was a little torn and broken, and of course, he was more so very perplexed at the fact that he was possibly going to hell. Brothers and sisters, there was demons that were bodybuilders that would torment him night after night, day after day. He would always be reminded of how much emphasis he spent in the mirror and at the gym and not in the word of God. Brothers and sisters, if you have a problem with vanity or narcissism, I'm talking about that person that just can't get out of the mirror. They post thousands and thousands of pictures ready for applause. I'm telling you right now, that is a spirit. That is the spirit of the devil. He had that same narcissism, and I'm telling you the truth. His demise was not pretty. So wake up, take this message as an example of what can happen if you sweat yourself just a little bit too much. <laughs> Bless the living God.